This is a display, is a campaign that we have run uh, over 51 years of 11 people that was murdered in Bella Murphy over a period of three days, including my mummy, Joan Conley, and our local priest, Father Mullen. Um, basically, the people were all out on an errand of mercy. Uh, my mummy was out looking for me and uh, say she couldn't find me. And then young Noel Phillips was shot and my mummy went to his aid and the parachute regiment shot her and left her there to, to bleed to death for hours. But all these people were on an errand of mercy. One man to go and get his brother and get him to a safe place because he lived beside the barracks. Father Mullen went out to help Bobby Clark, who's still alive today, and he was murdered. Uh, and a young fellow who went out, Frank Quinn, to help the priest, he was murdered as well. I, I could go on, the whole 11 of them, every one of them, they, they would, would be heroes. If they were in the British Army, they'd be given the medals, but no, they called them gunmen, gunwomen. Even our local priest, the same was in carrying guns out, which was lies. But the, the thing for us was when we found out exactly what was happening, is we knew our loved ones were innocent people, but the world didn't. And all I, we could think of is in years to come, our grandchildren, great-grandchildren, we're going to look at books, history books, and say, oh, they must have been gunwomen gun woman and gunmen and whatever. And I thought, we can't have this. We need the truth to be told. So we went about getting all the information. We'd done it ourselves. We went round the doors and at the spots where our loved ones were murdered and asked them, did you live here? Grown men stood crying at the door while we asked them questions. Nobody ever asked them before. And at the end of 18 months, we had 150 uh, statements. But all we had from the police, every one of us was the same, is one sheet of paper saying that uh, they asked my daddy, what happened and my daddy said my mum even died to look for me and never came back and it says no witnesses they never asked anybody they never even come to tell us that our mummy was murdered my daddy had to find out by going to the phone and asking is anyone here with red hair and they said there was only one and she was in the morgue do you know what i mean and her injuries were horrendous she, they were reckon she was actually shot at least three to four times and they came in 20 minutes after the shooting and they lifted the wounded out the set. They left my mummy there because she was already dead. But the thing was, they didn't check to see if she was dead. And we got a report done about eight years ago. And the doctor who done it said that my mummy, although she was shot a lot of times, didn't have any fatal organs. So my mummy lay there for at least four to five hours and bled to death. So to find all this out when we went in inquest, when we went for the inquest, we only went thinking we were going to get information because it's an investigation we want. So when Judge Kagan, after hearing the evidence and had announced that they were all in, completely innocent, it was absolutely amazing. But at the same time, it was good to know that the world now knows that they're innocent, but they were brutally murdered. Even after they died, they tortured them, their bodies. Mr. Taggart's daughter couldn't even identify her daddy because the beatings and the, he was shot 14 times. Do you know what I mean? That type of thing can't go unpunished. And it's not that you're looking people put away for years. You want somebody to stand up and say, yes, I shot your mummy and it, it was for this reason or that reason. Well, it was right or wrong. But then soldiers came into court and they told us Oh, I wasn't there. I never seen nothing. I, I didn't. Oh, what he called the soldier was beside you. Oh, I don't. I don't remember his name. These were soldiers who were in a regiment together for maybe ten, twenty years. So realistically, we we got our own. We done our own investigation, and we got where we got, and we got our loved ones declared innocent. We would like an investigation, uh, something that we're entitled to by law, for the simple reason we don't know why they shot our loved ones. We don't know why or who gave them the order. Did it come from the top? Uh, they couldn't say it was a 20 minutes of madness like they did in Derry because in Bellamar it lasted three days. And how the hell does people just get away with murder like that? So we need an investigation to bring these soldiers in just to tell us exactly what was the whole reason for it. Why did the parachute regiment think and need to be doing to shoot and murder eleven innocent people over a period of three days? 
What was it for? This legacy bill that they're tr that they're planning and bringing in, which I think they'll they'll pr bring it in. That's to stop the leg of us fighting out what happened to our loved ones and stopping us fighting out the truth, or even just simply fighting out how their loved ones were murdered, how they were killed, and why. And the fact of closing all that down is to protect our soldiers. So they don't want these soldiers to be brought into court, these old men. But see, in our, our inquest, our witnesses were brought in in wheelchairs and crutches. They didn't care because they knew the truth and they wanted to be told. So why can they not tell the truth? This is a disgrace because there's so many people coming behind us that need their inquests opened and to try and stop them. It's wrong. It's the, the only thing in the, the island of Ireland that we all agree on is this is wrong, this legacy bill is absolutely a disgrace and it's a shame for the British troops and the British army and the, the politicians of England to think that they can decide what we should do and what we shouldn't. The, th the thing, thing of it is, what you have to remember is the British government are always two or three steps ahead of everybody. It, in, the inquest worked for us, for 11 people to be declared innocent. Now that's working. That's, that's, a, that's a, a thing that's working. Mechanism that's working. Why do away with it? Because it suits them. Because they don't want their soldiers to be tarnished. And that's all it is. They don't care about us or our loved ones. They just want to be seen to be, oh, we're putting a stop to all this. Who gives them the right to say that me, I can't find out why my mummy was murdered, brutally murdered, and left to lie like a dog in a field to bleed to death.